Today I'm going to do something for you guys that I've been wanting to do for a while and I have been kind of really putting this off because this particular video is a little on the controversial side for some people. As you guys know I make notations in my phone of different things that I want to do for you guys. The notation here says, the psychology of having a gun exposed in the open, don't pull it back. You've already committed yourself by having it out there. Don't make a potential problem worse by assuming that you've actually stopped the threat. Hold the course. Don't pull back that firearm so quickly. Be in a hurry to get it out, but be reluctant to put it back. That last little tidbit came from uh, a firearms instructor in police academy back in 2000 that basically told us, if you think you need your handgun as a police officer, you have a lot of discretion. So if you think you need your handgun, you probably do, so get it out in a hurry. But once you have it out, be reluctant to put it away. To the tier one citizen, I would say, I'm gonna give you this little caveat. If you think you need your firearm, you probably do. However, you don't have the broad spectrum of, of freedom to get your gun out whenever you feel it. Uh, once you get a firearm out, you have really stepped in it. Not only, not only from the legal standpoint, you've stepped in it from a very focused standpoint that now you have totally committed yourself to a fight and you may accidentally draw very negative attention from a from another tier one citizen just like yourself that will now see you being the gunman. Uh, if you think I'm going to give you legal advice here, not nah, it's not going to happen. Because guys, I'm looking at this from the standpoint of a police officer, and I'm looking at this from the standpoint of a private citizen, and I'm looking at this from the standpoint of a person who's been involved in a lawsuit from beginning to end, sixty thousand dollars and three plus years of my life. So. I have a lot of insight on this. If you have mentally committed to draw your firearm, make sure that when you draw your firearm, once it's out, don't be in an all-fired hurry to put it away because you're already okay. there. Let's make believe this is cover, not a person, but a wall, a corner. Where do we work cover from? Do we work cover from here? No, because someone can be behind the wall and they can get your gun and now you've got two fights. One is that guy over there and his buddy that you didn't see over here. We work cover from here. If I've got a potential threat and I have the opportunity to talk, I can do it from here. I'm already committed, guys. I'm committed to getting my gun out. Here I am. I'm addressing the threat. If this guy decides to advance on me, I'm already in a great position. I can either move on cover, shots can go by me, or I can just address the problem from here. I don't assume that I've finished my job and I pull my pistol back. Or in some cases, I watch guys shoot and then they, and they holster like that. If you've done your job, that guy's going to take those rounds and it's going to have a physical effect on him. So hold for just a moment. Get a third side picture. Take a moment. Lower the weapon. Chances are if you've hit him here in the high central nervous area, he's going to go down. Whether you killed him or not is irrelevant here, okay? You have stopped the threat. You've hit him in an area that's very vital to him. Whatever the case may be, you have disrupted this guy's behavior. But the worst thing you can do is snatch it back and put it away. Remember guys, you're already committed and you've now shot this guy. So hold your side picture. Hold it, hold it, finger to the frame, drop back and hold for just a minute. Don't be in a hurry to put it away. And also from here, remember that you may have to check behind you for his buddies. Because unfortunately, these guys are cockroaches and when there's one, there are many. So look around you for other threats and keep going back to this guy because he's the first threat that you've got. Guys, there is no easy way to address any of this stuff. It is so fraught with legalities, it's not even funny. What I'm trying to give you guys are the basic points. Once you've committed as a tier one citizen to get your gun out, don't be in an all fired hurry to put it away. Don't be ashamed that you've got a gun out. If you've been driven to this point, stand tall, stand proud, do your job. And you have to trust that if you've acted within the confines of the law, to the best of your knowledge, that you will have something to stand on. And the last thing is this, when the cops do show up, be intelligent enough not to give a statement until your attorney is present. As always, I thank you guys for watching. God bless you all. Get those guns up in practice. Have a good one.